Well, yeah, Joe, I spent a little time with the two men who are really just getting to know one another as candidates run separately here in the primary. I started by asking them, since they've only known each other a matter of days, what is their unified plan going forward to the general election? Let me just kind of harken back to when I got elected, and I remember Governor Lingle, when she would introduce me, she says, you know, it's like a prearranged marriage. You just kind of come together. And that's what happened with Junior and I. We just met for the very first time in, in depth uh, about a couple of days ago. And we, we're pretty much online. I mean, we have the same principles. We have the same values. Uh, I think Junior's going to be a great partner. People of Hawaii get to know him better simply because he's a man of intelligence, he's a man of passion, but more importantly, he has a heart for the families and the children of Hawaii. It's an honor and a privilege to work with Duke. He brings a wealth of knowledge to the table that's invaluable to me, you know, as a first timer in office. But I, I always look back, you know, that um, with the mentor and a leader to help guide and, you know, corral me, I'm, I'm excited for it. As a former coach, you know, I'm always ready to learn. The biggest room is room for improvement. There you go. So I'm looking forward to it. On the key issues of abortion rights and gun control, Junior admittedly leans more conservative, but both men believe their values are 100% in line. We're on the same page when it comes to uh, the Second Amendment. We both believe in the Second Amendment. I'm a, I'm a former judge, uh, an attorney by profession. The rule of the law is, is embedded in me, so the rule of the law will prevail when it comes to our, our gun laws and everything else. When it comes to abortion, we both believe in life, and uh, but we also believe that that law and, and its fate and where it goes in Hawaii rests with the uh, state legislature. For us, we're just executing, we're just enforcing what the people want. So if the people want change, they need to talk, you know. As a former judge, deputy prosecutor, and two-term lieutenant governor himself, Iona believes his experience is what the state needs now during what he calls a critical time. First of all, I, I've had the opportunity to serve for two full terms, and the relationship that I had with uh, Governor Lingle was a lot different than any of the other LGs. And I was really her, her confidant. I, I was a big part of her administration. As a judge, you're, you're bred to, um, to be objective. You're, you're bred to be collaborative and to have uh, integration and inclusiveness and diversity in regards to, you know, how you make decisions. And on running as a Republican for governor for the third time in a largely Democratic state, Iona says the time for change is long overdue. We firmly believe in a robust two-party system. What I mean by that, balance, right? We need checks and balances. We need, you know, checks and balances or a two-party system will open up the system. It'll, it'll create innovative and, you know, and dialogue that uh, is, you haven't had before. Why? Because simply because now you have to be transparent. We don't take votes for granted. We know that we got to get every vote. The Democrats, on the other hand, you know, they're a little smug. They believe that they got the votes all wrapped up simply if they get an endorsement or they get a pack uh, behind of them and you know they don't have to they don't have to work as hard for it but we know we have to work hard for it and we're working hard each and every day it's a different perspective coming in i have a newfound respect for those who run for office for me as a former coach for Hilo high nine seasons for football or as an instructor for the youth challenge in the big island or as a pastor all these different iterations have the same thing it's just serving so whether the coach as an instructor, as a pastor, as lieutenant governor. It's just a title that shows the jurisdiction that I'm serving of the people, by the people, and for the people. And whatever iteration that is, to put the people of Hawaii first, I'm game. Let's go. And it is go time, of course. And stay with KHON2, your local election headquarters, as we bring you complete coverage of the candidates leading up to Election Day, the general election, Tuesday, November the 8th.